We all know about the COVID-19 pandemic, but did you know that we're also facing the sedentarism pandemic? Let's explore the case of Arthiga, a 22-year-old university student who is now studying from home. This is her life before and during the COVID-19 pandemic. Arthiga was living a very active lifestyle before the pandemic. Walking to campus, moving from class to class, and going to the gym are all examples of how she experienced a lot of physical activity throughout the day. But during the pandemic, this all changed, as she spends most of her day at her desk, on her couch, or in bed, with little physical activity. This is called a sedentary lifestyle. From an evolutionary perspective, humans have been designed to move, as this was essential to species survival. But in the past few decades, our lifestyles have collectively shifted from ones that were physically demanding to ones that present very few physical challenges. Our home lives, workplaces, schools, and public spaces have all transformed, which has resulted in less human movement. To put this into perspective, adults in affluent countries spend approximately 70% of their waking hours sitting. A sedentary lifestyle involves little or no physical activity. Sedentary behavior is defined as any waking behavior with an energy expenditure of 1.5 metabolic equivalent task or less. The metabolic equivalent task is a ratio of working metabolic rate to standard resting metabolic rate. Activities like sitting, lying down, or leaning have an energy expenditure of approximately 1.5. Moderate to vigorous physical activity would have an energy expenditure greater than 3.0. Now, in the past year, we have also been required to adjust to the new normal of social distancing and sheltering in place to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. We can no longer leave our homes to engage in regular activities, most opportunities to be active have been suspended, and we have limited our social interactions. A significant decline in physical activity while an increase in time spent in both sedentary behaviors and sleep has been observed during the COVID-19 pandemic. So while we are facing a viral pandemic, we are also facing the sedentarism pandemic. A sedentary lifestyle is associated with increased risks for negative health outcomes, such as cardiovascular disease, osteoporosis, and muscle breakdown, as well as weight gain. Increased risk for cardiovascular diseases developed as chronic sedentary behaviors have been found to reduce lipoprotein lipase activity in the body. When this enzyme function is decreased, fatty acids circulating in our blood are not able to be taken up by our skeletal muscles and adipose tissue. Furthermore, studies have shown that reduced movement in our daily lives can increase bone resorption, which can reduce bone mineral density. This means that there is a decrease in bone mass, which weakens our bones, resulting in increased risk for osteoporosis. Finally, a sedentary lifestyle also poses a risk to our skeletal muscles. Prolonged lack of mechanical load in our muscles will cause muscle loss and trigger muscle fiber denervation. Muscle breakdown can start in as little as 24 hours, and aches and pains start to develop. This can also lead to increased back pain, which can make it less likely that a person will become active. Weight gain, weakened muscles and weakened bones all place a large load on the spine, 
which will prevent further physical activity. Studies have shown that vigorous physical activity alone is not enough to prevent these changes. Less sedentary behavior may also be required. Even if you're doing 30 minutes of physical activity per day, it still matters what you are doing to stay active in the other 23 and a half hours of the day. If you exercise, you should be mindful of staying in motion throughout the day, because exercise is not enough to overcome the risks of sitting for long periods of time. Studies show that having a few short bursts of physical activity or movement throughout the day has profound effects in mitigating any risks. This could be done by walking for five minutes every one or two hours, or taking breaks every hour and doing jumping jacks, stretches, and push-ups, for example. Anything to get your body moving. Now that we have outlined some of the ways we can reduce our sedentary behaviors, let's see how Urthika implements them into her life as a university student during the lockdown. And this is how we can gradually improve our pandemic lifestyles to incorporate more movement to avoid major health risks in the future. Before you click off this video, we just wanted to remind you to step away from your computer, stretch a little bit, and maybe take a short walk.